she talked about it volumizing, voluminizing, voluminizing. What, is that even a word? Talking with my hands like way too much. Oh my gosh, I need to stop talking with my hands. Like just, ugh. Hey guys, today I'm gonna share with you my top five favorite, favorite mascaras. And I am a big mascara junkie. I think it's like, you know, the if I was on a deserted island and I only had one beauty product that I could bring with me, mascara would be it. Um, that being said, I'm constantly trying all sorts of new mascara. Even though I have favorites, I'm always on the hunt for something new. Um, the ones I'm holding are not the favorites and maybe we'll quickly go through these at the end. But I am going to start with what I'm wearing today. This is a newer discovery and I am so in love with it. I'm so impressed by this. This is from Mally. And this is actually the first makeup item I have ever tried from Mally Cosmetics. I've watched on QVC. I've wanted to order, but for whatever reason, I just haven't. And when I was in New York for IMATS with Fleur, Ingrid, and Becky, we were in Bergdorf's and they have a counter there. I think that's like the only actual physical counter that you can go and purchase her products from. So I was able to kind of swatch and test and play. And the lady working there was hysterical. I was like, um, let's be real. Like how good is the mascara? And she's like, it doesn't flake, which is like my number one. If it doesn't flake, I'm like, oh, tell me more. So she literally starts like rubbing her eye and I'm like, holy crap. And I was like, Becky, we need this mascara. And we actually ended up buying three of them. They were like three for 60 and we, uh, Becky and I did a giveaway. I'll link that video below. The giveaway is closed, but if you want to see the video the haul that we did together, I'll link that anyway. I love this. It lives up to the hype. It volumizes like crazy. You want to build it on the spot. You don't want to let it dry and go back and build more. And the great thing about it is it does not flake. It's a little tricky to get off. It's, you know, you do need makeup remover to get it off, but it's really, really good. Next in line, this is not going to be a surprise. These aren't really in any order, by the way. I love them all, but this mascara, this green tube, has popped up in more of my videos, more tutorials than any other mascara, period. I buy this one more than any mascara ever, actually. This is my most repurchased mascara. I love it. It's $9.99. You can usually find a great sale from Physician's Formula. This is the Jumbo Wear Organic Mascara. The brush on here is perfect. It separates, it builds. You can start out with like a more natural look, let it dry, go back in and build, let it dry, go back in and build. If you're the kind of person that likes to reapply mascara throughout the day, this won't clump up. It'll always reseparate things and make things look really fresh. Um, I love that it's organic. They don't have a waterproof formula, which I really wish they did. So I do hear from some people, if you have oilier lids, that um, there is some smudging. That doesn't happen with me, but I have heard that feedback. All in all, this is one of my absolute like favorite, favorite mascaras. I love it. This mascara, Lash Potion, was sent to me in a big box of beauty whatnot from Revlon because Revlon is a sponsor of Allure's Beauty Blogger Awards. So I got to try this kind of, you know, in advance and feel really cool. And I've been wearing it for a while and I have to say this gets better over time. It's one of the formulas that as it dries a little bit, like improves and gets even better. This is a fast mascara, and by fast mascara, what I mean is you can put on one coat, dash out the door, and it's actually gonna give you volume. Like a lot of volumizing mascaras, you have to put on two, three, four layers, and you know, take your time with it. You don't need to take your time with this. You put it on and bam, you got some volume. This is not one that you wanna reapply throughout the day. It will clump up and then you'll see some flaking. This also is not one that you wanna build a ton. I think it's best used when you just put on one great coat and, and you're good, but I love it. Another drugstore find because I gotta tell you guys, Nine out of 10 times, mascara from the drugstore gets it done. If you are on a budget, mascara is one of the greatest things to buy budget friendly because they have so many formulas and they make good stuff at the drugstore as far as mascara goes. Uh, this is another really great product. This is the Alme Get Up and Grow. The brush is really nice. It's long and it's just that nice, thick, kind of dense brush that really separates, adds a lot of volume. They say this is a one coat mascara, but I'm gonna be honest, I put on like five coats and then I'm like, pa-pow, like 
great lashes. I love it. This also has lash conditioners in it. So lash proteins, it's supposed to be healthy for your lashes, hence the get up and grow. It's supposed to help your lashes to grow. I don't know about that. I think it's a great formula. It volumizes. It is very soft. If you are someone that is looking for a mascara to really hold a curl, I think this might be too soft, but it is, it's great. I like it. Very expensive mascara that I can't help but love. And this was a recommendation from Fleur de Force. I always refer to people by their channel names when I'm talking about a friend. Like, I don't call her Fleur de Force in person. That would be really weird. Um, Fleur, <laughs> also known as Fleur de Force here on YouTube, was talking about this mascara. This is the Lancome Hypno Star Mascara. And the way she was describing it, I had to run out and grab it immediately. And then when she said the words, it's similar to YSL's mascaras, I was like, hmm. I really need to give this a try because I love YSL's mascaras. They're super expensive and the only reason I don't still use them is because they dry out so quickly and you have to repurchase and then you're like thinking, why am I spending 30 bucks every month on new mascara? This is ridiculous. So I wanted to try this and I have to say it is a similar formula. The brush is a lot different. It's um, not as full as I usually like a brush, but it still does something really nice for your lashes. It's kind of tapered towards the tip. You can really get in those lower lashes nicely. It builds. Um, this does hold a curl really well. It's really wet looking. It has a very wet finish. And also, I have to say, I've had this for well over a month now, and it's still in great shape. Like, it's not dried out. It still works well. And this is, I believe, $28. So it is It's expensive, but I would say if you're looking for a luxury mascara that's really awesome, this is a good one to try. <laughs> All my mascaras that I probably should get rid of because I just don't reach for these. Um, this is the Grow Luscious, and again, this is one that I like, but I prefer the Lash Potion, and actually I want to try the Lash Potion in Waterproof. I think that'll be even better. The Revlon Telescopic Mascara and the Rimmel Glam Eyes Day to Night. I talked about these in my products that I would avoid at the drugstore video, and these both just really didn't add a lot of volume. Again, I mentioned in the video, if you like a more natural look, then I've heard great things. People that like the natural look really like the Telescopic because it is such a skinny little brush. And they have a new formula out where the brush is a little bit different, and I'm kind of curious to try that one, to be honest. Um, also, as far as a high-end mascara that was just, why do I even still have this? I even have the box. I really should just go and return it, but it's been so long that I'm like afraid to return it, but I keep holding on to it. Why? I don't even know. The Chanel mascara. Look at that brush. Oh, when I was in the store, I was like, I need this in my life. It looks like the perfect, perfect wand mascara brush. It just did not do anything. It really clung my lashes together and made them look very spidery instead of volumizing them. So um, this is the Le Volume de Chanel. The new one. I would avoid it. Also, um, I have to say the Mega Volume Waterproof Mascara that I recently hauled in my What's New at the Drugstore video. This is waterproof. I wore this on the plane and I gotta say, it did not flake. It stayed on. It was really fantastic for a dollar. 99. This is amazing. The only reason I didn't put this in the top five is because I like just a little more volume from my mascara and this didn't build in a way that I would want my mascara to build on a regular basis, but it did have amazing, amazing staying power. So that was really nice. And then this is the, I always want to call it the Le Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Do you guys like Chick-fil-A? James and Taylor love Chick-fil-A. Anyway, this is the Le chick Flick, the Chick-fil-A. Waterproof lashes, this is from NYX. I have a love-hate with this. If you can get it on without splattering the mascara everywhere, which it does kind of splatter quite a bit, um, it does hold a curl like crazy, it volumizes, and it does stay all day. Pain in the neck to take off, but it's a really good waterproof, cheapy mascara. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up for more top five videos, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah. And go vote at Allure.com if you want to support me. That'd be amazing. All right. Bye.